What is up, players? It's Warboss Tap this mug. Welcome to my day two progress report for the May Painting Challenge 2015. So the first thing, I didn't get the chance to work on my iron hands today. I was focused on the orcs and the party girls. So with the orcs, I was able to get one row uh, completed, the first row of 10 completed and base coats. Everything from the, the weapons, to the armor, to the straps, to the clasps on the straps, to the teeth, to the fingernails. Uh, everything done and all the detail on the weapons just base coats and I was a little discouraged after that So what I decided to do instead for the second row was just do the silver on the weapons. So a lead belcher on everything and then I went back and I started doing the yellows on the weapons and on the gloves and uh, armbands, so I'm gonna continue doing that tomorrow and I, I think if I if, if I feel encouraged then I will just black out all the base colors like I did with the first row. If not, I might go and do all the weapons and then just see more gradual progress with everything. As for the party girls, some of you guys might have seen my video on razor wire that I did with this guy yesterday. So basically he's all completed. I painted him up completely just as a, another, I guess, test model. Oops. And I added the secret weapons razor wire to his club there for a little bit of added extra brutality. I did the uh, right eye, I noticed there's some staples on it and it, like it's covering up a bad scar. So I decided to add some blood for the blood god. I painted him up in an Astra Militarum Imperial Guard Renegade color scheme. So you got the beige khaki uh, coat with the, art, with the sleeves ripped off, the trousers, the boots, and then for I decided for the auto pistol and for the armor to paint it in that kind of castellan green of the Imperial Guard. The purple on his hood thing is still that dark eggplant purple, and I decided to add the bright purple accents that the Party Girl Space Marines have on his little um, strap holding the icon up and on the little uh, string or rope holding his necklace icon up. So that's this guy, he's all done. Ready to go. There we go. That's a little bit of a closer look at him. I hope to continue working with uh, these guys tomorrow because this one I really took the time, but maybe I'll just do all the base coats for the rest of them or work on getting the base coats done. Uh, the orcs are taking a lot of time with me though, so uh, just because there's so, so such a huge number of them and I want to really focus on getting them done up to a good standard. Uh, the question of the day is, do you remember the first miniature you ever painted? Actually, the first miniature I ever painted was a skeleton that I painted up for the Return of the Lightmaster game that I was playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 1st Edition with some friends of mine in, I think I was in the 8th grade or I was a freshman in high school. I painted him, I built him up, I got super glue all over my fingers, I, um, I painted him up in, I remember, in my bedroom at the time and I it was just really bad it was so bad I don't even know where it is right now what was it like it was kind of discouraging because uh, the guy at this hobby shop told me it would be easy he was like yeah it's just bones and, and some silver for the the weapon and uh, I was so discouraged that I kind of put the brush down for a while until me and my friends decided to get back into it with the starter kit for Warhammer but that's it, so keep filming, keep posting. I'm uh, really excited to see so many participants this year in the challenge. And I hope you guys are all having a great time hobbying and painting and in the community. It's really good to see so much support out there.